coverage continues back here in studio as reactions continue to pour in in the wake of this tragedy. MSU graduate Kelly Rowe is here now with more from students, parents, and alumni. Kelly, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's one of those things that you see on the news and hope you never have to experience firsthand. But this morning, current and former Spartans all over the country are waking up to discover their alma mater became the latest school torn apart by gun violence. Last night, multiple students spoke to Fox 2 about those terrifying moments in a place that's supposed to be a safe haven. Scary, yeah, like it's totally unannounced, you know, it's the day before Valentine's Day, you have no clue, we're, you know, we're just trying to do something, everyone's probably, you know, going out to eat late night or whatever else, and we see people running across the street as we're going there, it's just, you know, chaotic, it's very scary, I mean, I still got chills down my spine right now. It's so terrifying, because today we had chapter, and, you know, a lot of girls are walking home to their dorms, and we have so many girls, and it's, so scary hearing all of them saying they're like underneath their bed and they're barricading their doors and like crying they hear screaming and it's just like a really terrible feeling. I actually remember telling my parents that I felt safe at Michigan State knowing that coming out of high school where most of them happen I mean you thought it would be safe for the next couple of days even after coming back from home it's gonna be it's gonna be weird um, there's going to be a new connection between all Spartans, but uh, what just happened is going to live in the back of our minds. Pretty sobering, you know, feeling right now with uh, tonight uh, coming into the locker room here in the news, and um, we're all just uh, pretty, uh, pretty devastated by it. And uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved, all the students, all the families. Um, just uh, very sad. And some of these students have unfortunately been through this nightmare already. One student forced to lock down during this shooting on campus was also a student at Oxford High School on November 30th, 2021, when her classmate killed four students and injured seven others. Last night, we spoke to that student's mother about the horrors of having to relive this kind of tragedy. She witnessed um, 20 shots being fired. She lives right across from the Union. Um, and she heard the screaming and she called me right away. Um, it, uh, she's got a little PTSD from the Oxford shooting and um, she's um, just devastated and, and just so scared right now. I mean, it was horrible, you know, from the Oxford, she, um, she had me on FaceTime and, she, you know, I, I still have the text messages from that scenario where she said, Mom, there's an active shooter and people are dead. And um, my heart just dropped, you know, I was three and a half hours away at the time and I just felt so helpless. And now I'm three hours away again at, and same scenario. I just feel like it's a nightmare happening all over again. You can hear it in that mom's voice, just how terrifying this was for her too. And uh, I, I wanna say as a Spartan alum, um, MSU has always felt like home and a really safe place. And it's just devastating that these students, this is part of their MSU memories now and other students aren't even coming home. So I know the Spartan community is very strong and that they're banding together to hopefully make any sense of this at all. In the meantime, of course, police are still early in their investigation, but hopefully answers and closure will come sooner rather than later.